Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to explain how a change in net exports can impact aggregate demand and using some numbers. So there's some information here about what's happened to net exports in 2010 and 2011. And this is the percentage change from 2010 to 2011. Remember, exports minus imports, this is otherwise known as net exports. And the question says, how does this change in the current account impact aggregate demand, assuming Ceteris Paribus? Don't be muddled by this. The current account, remember, this by and large, it does look at some other things as well, but it's looking at exports and imports. So it is the same thing exports minus imports in this question, because that's all the information that you have. And it says, assuming Ceteris Paribus, so remember Ceteris Paribus means everything else stays the same. And the key of this question is that it wants to know what's the impact on aggregate demand. So how does aggregate demand change when this change happens? And we know that the formula for aggregate demand is consumption plus investment plus government spending plus exports minus imports. And this section here, exports minus imports, this is what we have information about in our question. And it's saying if all of these consumption, investment, government spending stay the same, but we've got this change in exports minus imports, what will happen to aggregate demand? And you can see here in 2010, the figure was negative 39,602. Then one year later, it was still negative, so it was still a deficit. Both of these are a deficit because it's a negative figure. And it was then negative 28,034. So the negative number has actually got smaller. So the deficit has decreased. And for the purposes of our question, this number here was minus 39,602. But now the number is minus 28,034. So in our little calculation here, this number at the end that we were taking away used to be bigger than it is now. So overall now, this section we're deducting less. It's a smaller number that we're taking away. We're only taking away 28,034 now. We used to be taking away 39,602. So overall we're deducting less. So that will mean overall now AD will be greater. And this is the answer. The impact on aggregate demand is that aggregate demand is going to be greater. And it will be greater because the number that we are taking away at the end of our calculation has got smaller. It's less.